Hey y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be testing out and doing lip swatches on the Ulta Beauty Lipstick Library. This is one of their holiday gift sets that includes five luxe lipsticks. But before we get into that, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Give this a big thumbs up. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so since the holiday season is now upon us, I decided to try out one of the holiday gift sets that is available at Ulta. This one is from the Ulta beauty brand itself. It is the Lipstick Library. So I do actually have two different holiday gift sets. One is this Luxe Lipstick uh, Library, and then I do also have the Lip Glossary. This will be in another video that will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you are subscribed. But I wanted to do this one real quick. This just includes five of their luxe lipsticks in really pretty colors. You are supposed to be able to layer and mix these five limited edition luxe lipsticks to achieve your perfect palette. So it sounds like these shades right here are limited edition, so I think you can probably only get them in this set. So let me look and see if the luxe lipsticks are available just normally. Hold on. So yeah, it looks like the Luxe lipsticks are regularly available at all times. They actually have 33 shades and they are typically $9 a piece, but right now it looks like they're on sale for $4.50. So if you're interested in the Luxe lipsticks, I would get online right now and buy some because it looks like they're half off. Going back to the lipstick library, it looks like these shades are only available in the lipstick library, this right here. This is $16 for five shades, so that's a little bit more than $3 a lipstick. So that's a really good price, seeing as how they're usually $9, and this looks like it's a pretty full-sized product. But let's go ahead and try these. I'm gonna go ahead and do lip swatches and then come back and give a little review of this. So let's go. All right, so those are all of the shades. This one that I have on my lips right now is that last shade, Midnight Kisses. Really pretty. I actually quite like all of these shades and I didn't think that I would because I thought that they would look as they do in the packaging. So I thought that they would be pretty much these colors. And other than these two, I felt like the rest looked very different actually on the lips than they do on the packaging. I really thought I was gonna hate this one. That was my least favorite shade on me. Um, as I've said before, I'm not a huge fan of like pink, pink, pure pink shades on my lips, but I thought that it was still a very wearable shade um, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. My favorites include 
this one that is on my lips. I did also really like the uh, second to last one, Sparkle. I thought it was a really pretty like cranberry red that I think will look really great in the holiday season in the winter time. Very pretty shade. I am really happy with the shades that they put in here because I do feel like they are seasonally appropriate and they are kind of colors that we think about for winter and for the holidays. And then I did also like the first shade, Countdown. This, this was more of like the nude pink that I like wearing. As far as the actual application, I don't think I've ever put on a lipstick that is, oh my gosh, I just tore off a chunk of this, taking this out. So the applicator, I wasn't a huge fan of, and I thought I would be. I did see how the applicator looked before I bought these. I did get them online. I think these are only available online. I don't think you can get them actually in the store. So the actual applicator is like in the shape of a square. I thought that I would like it more because I was like, oh, that'll be really good to line your lips. And it was to an extent, it was great to line the bottom lip with, but when I was doing my upper lip, it was hard for me to see where the tip was pointing because the tip had to be pointed down with the rest of the lipstick kind of sticking out. So I couldn't 100% see where the lipstick was going, if that makes any sense. I wasn't a huge fan of the applicator of this, but it is something that I can get past. It's not really a deal breaker for me. This does look luxe though. It doesn't quite feel, it doesn't quite feel luxe. It is just plastic. Moving on to how the lipstick feels. I do like how it feels. I wish it was a little smoother. I felt like it kind of gathered sometimes, so I would end up having to, you know, go over a few times, but I still really like it. The opacity is great with this. You get a lot of color payoff with just a few little swipes, especially with the darker shades. I do think that the darker shades look a little bit better than the lighter shades, depending on the color of your lips. So I would definitely say these two are my favorites. I do still like this one, but I, I still like all of the shades there wasn't a single shade that I was like Ugh, or that didn't really work out but I do think that the darker shades looked better on the lips so there we go that is it for today's video that is it for the luxe lipstick set again make sure that you are subscribed so you can be notified when I upload the review and lip swatches for the lip glossary I did do this one year before I think it was like two or three years ago i did the holiday lip glossary from ulta beauty so i really enjoy doing these these come with 16 different lip products um so full lip swatches and review is coming soon within the next week or two make sure you're subscribed hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i upload a new video every monday wednesday and friday so sorry i know this is two <laughs> i know this was two lip videos in a row there was supposed to be another video in between that was on wednesday but <clears throat> my editing software messed that one up and i had like completely finished editing it so i just did not have the patience or the heart to uh, completely re-edit it so that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching and i will see y'all in my next one bye y'all